Hello, I'm Mr. Sujano. Welcome back. Certainly glad you could join us today. It's a fantastic day here and I hope it is wherever you're at. Today's video, we're going over fight sticks of the month for October of 2021. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, if this is your first fight sticks of the month video, welcome. Every month I go over the best of the best from Reddit fight sticks. The rules of Fight Sticks of the Month are very simple and straightforward. All you have to do is just post your arcade stick on Reddit Fight Sticks, and that's literally about it. If you haven't checked out Reddit Fight Sticks, I highly recommend doing so. It's an amazing community, a lot of great members, and a lot of great Fight Sticks. As per usual, first up here, we're going to feature some first timers, and we had some really impressive first time builds this month. This person's first stick is incredible. It's a custom case they designed, they have an all button layout. The dimensions here are 330 millimeters wide by 35 millimeters thick. If we take a look at the top of this case, they went with clear buttons and that's so they could have some button inlays to continue on with the artwork. The artwork matches up perfectly. And if we take a look at this artwork for a second here, we can see the Thalo blue. We can also see these happy little trees. That makes me happy. Looking around the rest of the stick, they have that titanium white stick absolutely beautiful. I like this person's first build. There's a lot going on here, but it's a very happy stick. I like the little characters inside the buttons at the top. I do like how the buttons here blend in with the background very nicely. And I do like that they went with a slightly darker color for those two final buttons. I don't know if that's just the picture and the angle of the picture, if those are a bit of a darker color. They do look a little bit darker. This is a very cheerful stick. I like the artwork on this stick. It's minimalistic and it makes the stick look really clean. I like the choice in metallic buttons and ball top here. And I like that they went with LEDs. The wiring on this one is also pretty clean. This person here really likes Persona. It's a little bit louder than the other stick, but it's still beautiful in its own regard. I love the choice in metallic buttons here. I like the button inlays. There's a lot of detail going on here and it's all very nice. This one features a happy little tree. We have some phthalo blue buttons, some titanium white buttons, and it's on sheet aluminum. This is very interesting. If you take a look at the sheet aluminum, it does, uh, it does look like it's bent a little bit here. I'm not quite sure on that. And I'm wondering if it's gonna be sharp around the edges. But overall, I am very impressed with this one, especially for a first build. I love how this build embraces the latest and greatest in technology, VHS. There's probably a lot of people who don't even know what that is yet. So if we take a look at this one, the artwork on this one completely sells this stick. I like the little details on the top here and on the side. And even on the back, be kind, rewind. I haven't seen that in forever. Now, keeping on the theme of the latest and greatest, we have a stick here dedicated to an up and coming music group, a tribe called Quest. I like how the buttons tie in very nicely with the artwork. Hopefully this band makes it big. Here we've got someone's first build and older stick. Now I don't know which one's their first build and I don't know which one is their older stick. But what I do know is here that I am very impressed with the wiring on this. If this is your first time wiring a stick, this is incredibly impressive. Look how beautiful that is. Here is someone's first ever all buttons arcade stick and they're very proud of it and they should be. It turned out great. The only thing I would criticize about this, and maybe not criticize, but the only thing I can see here, uh, is they had a happy little accident. It looks like they tightened up this screw a little bit too much and cracked the plexiglass. Remember, there are no mistakes, just happy accidents. This is a 3D printed stick that has a few things going for it. First and foremost, we have two different kinds of controls. We have a joystick and we have buttons. So it's got the hitbox style layout and a joystick. It's got you covered from two different angles. And I really like what they did at the top here, using keycaps for those top buttons. And speaking of keycaps and 3D printed sticks, well, we have one right here that combines both of them, and I think it turned out really nicely, except for the inside. I wish they didn't show me that. This first build features a nice big space for your hands, and it looks like they're not done yet. Beautiful artwork on this one. I like the contrast between the characters and the background, and I also really like the inlays and the buttons. They're lined up very nicely. This build here is actually from last month. Now I missed it, so I'm featuring it this month. It received a lot of attention last month. It was very popular and I can see why it's themed very well. We've been seeing more and more of these smaller form factor arcade stick and here is one that manages to fit the Brook UFB inside of it, which is actually very impressive. Now, if you want to build your own fight stick and maybe you're a bit intimidated with Reddit fight sticks or you just don't know where to start, well, if you take a look at these three sticks here, you don't really need a whole lot as long as you have some form of controls, buttons and a joystick or just buttons and a cardboard box. Well, you can be off to the races. It's very easy to get started. 
it's very easy to learn. You just have to want to do it. Moving on to the next set of sticks here. As you know, I am a huge Street Fighter 2 fan, so I couldn't resist showcasing these ones. First up is this beautiful Super Turbo Espada. It's got great artwork on the top, the bottom, and on the sides. Here's a Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition theme, and I love how they went with that Brooke Rosewood bat top. That's a really nice touch. This person modded their Quamba Obsidian with LEDs, and they used the character icons as button inlays. Overall, this one is beautiful. Now, for your first stick build, if you choose a Street Fighter 2 theme, you get big bonus points for me, and this stick gets big bonus points. The only thing I think about changing are the button colors. Other than that, this one is beautiful. For this next group of sticks, it's Halloween, so we've got some spooky and frightening ones. First up is this beautiful build from Layer Shift, and we have a pumpkin-shaped Odin, which is amazing. This person says, help, I've created a monster, revived an old PS2 stick to modern standards. What do you even call this type of stick nowadays? I don't even know if we have a name for this controller layout. If you know it, let me know in the comments below. If you have a good idea for one, let me know in the comments below. Uh, so we've got the hitbox style of layout here. We've also got a joystick. We have player LEDs. I'm assuming those are from BitBang Gaming. And the spooky part about this is the internals. There's a lot going on here. Very spooky. Now I might have featured this one last month from Jerombe. I'm not quite sure on that one. I'm too lazy to check. So we're just gonna feature it here because there are some spooky elements. First up is the controls. I haven't really seen this kind of control before. It's very weird, uh, very spooky, because the buttons are very close to the top. We have our joystick here and the buttons go way up and a bunch of different buttons towards the bottom. I don't know what these buttons do. Uh, and if we take a look on the underside of this, the cutouts here are very amazing. I mean, very spooky. Uh, they're very deep. This is very thick wood and they're very precise cuts. There's even spaces here for the Allen wrenches, which is really cool. I mean, spooky. Have you ever seen a horror movie where something comes right out of the mirror? I'm pretty sure I have before. I think it's happened in a few different movies. I just don't remember the name. This stick looks like it came right out of a mirror. This is the way the stick is built. This is the way the stick looks. No, you're not looking at it through the mirror. It is a left-handed stick, and it is very, very spooky. Here's a very interesting build. It's a two-player unit. I think it features 5,000 games that are built in, so it's kind of like an all-in-one, and it's very plush. It uses a soft material as opposed to a normal hard one. They say it wipes down easy, so it's not gonna get that grimy. The spooky part about this is that it's got speakers built in and it can play spooky music. Warm and cuddly or nightmare fuel? Let me know below. I'll admit that I'm a bit disappointed that I don't get to see more pictures of this build, but they have glow in the dark buttons and a glow in the dark bat top. We don't see this very often. Glowing in the dark is very spooky. If you're scared of buttons or crazy layouts, you might be scared of this stick. If you're scared of things you can't see, this stick has wireless. At least it looks like it. And if you're scared of being in a situation where you have somewhere to run but absolutely nowhere to hide, this stick is open source. You can see everything. I don't think I need to elaborate on why this is spooky. This stick is scary because we can't see who those characters are. We can only see silhouettes, but they look very fast and powerful. Here's a stick that's both spooky and beautiful. It's a Bloodborne themed stick. The artwork on this one is incredible. It continues around the whole stick here. The stick does have built-in LEDs that shine up really nice at night or in the dark, I guess. And on the bottom of this, the artwork continues on. It's amazing. If you're scared of lasers, this stick is laser cut and it's got a very mysterious layout. I don't even know how I would use it. I mean, I think I'd be accidentally hitting buttons left, right, and center here. I probably would be. Looking at this, it would take quite a bit of practice to become proficient with. But if you can get this to work, more power to you. And there is quite a bit of space for your palms on this fight stick. Overall, it's beautiful. It's just very mysterious. If you're ever in a scary situation, you might want to look at a fight stick like this one. It's made out of ballistic plexiglass. I don't know if it would actually stop a bullet, but it looks like it might. If you're scared of buttons only controllers rising up and killing joysticks, well, you might be scared of this one. I'm not quite sure here on what some of these buttons do, but the presentation on this one's nice. Last up in this segment, we have a spooky shapeshifter. If you take a look at the buttons here, it's a hitbox cross-up style of layout. There are three buttons that don't really fit in with the rest of this stick. But if you look here on these photos, you can see those three buttons replace the joystick, shifting it into an all-button controller. Very innovative, very cool, and 
very spooky. For this next segment, we have sticks that are just straight up beautiful. The artwork on this one is loud and nicely done, but my favorite part about it is the wiring, extremely clean. I'm not the biggest fan of the Thalo blue and platinum white buttons on this one, but the woodworking on it is incredible. Barewit usually makes really nice sticks, and this one here is no exception. The artwork is nice, the button coloring is nice in relation to the artwork, and I like the etching on the foam. I think the gold buttons on this BNB work incredibly well. And speaking of buttons, at first I thought these were blue metallic buttons and I was gonna say, hey, it suits the stick really nicely, but they're not. They are metallic rims, but the internals of the buttons are transparent and the artwork continues on through. I think this suits the stick incredibly well and it's very well done. I like the artwork. I like how everything just pops. And on the underside of the stick, well, the artwork looks great there too. Here's another bear whip build and he's been on fire. I like the etching on the foam here. I like the artwork. I like the blue buttons. I like the style around the buttons and it ties in really nicely with this corner here. Overall, the blending, the artwork, everything is just top tier. Here's a Pac-Man player's Pac-Man themed smash box. I like what they did with the button inlays. I like what they did with their gamer tag. Overall, I just like this stick. Here's a black Goku fight stick. The title says, I wish you like it. And I guess your wish is granted because I do like it. So the pink ball top here ties in nicely with the artwork. I'm pretty sure those are LED buttons. The artwork continues on through those as well. On the bottom of this, it's beautiful. The wiring, incredible. The pink wire covers here is really nice. It was a good tie-in with the rest of the artwork. And if you take a look here, this artwork is continued on the bottom, but also on the underside of the top panel. It gives a really cool 3D effect. This one brings a smile to my face for a couple different reasons. One, I think it's really clever how they did the buttons in the bat top here. The bat top ties in with the red ranger, and then the buttons tie in with the rest of the other rangers. They didn't have enough buttons to do all five rangers there, so this is pretty clever. On top of that, well, those rangers are eating extremely well. They, they seem to be happy. Here's another one that puts a smile on my face and I kind of wish there were more photos of this one. It's a fully metal case. I like how they rounded the edges so they're not sharp. It has a hitbox style of layout, but the layout does seem a little bit off. That might be the angle of the photo and that's kind of why I wanted to see more photos of this. Uh, but the top here, I love this so much. Why? That's that's incredible. So we go from a stick with no artwork to a stick with a ton of artwork, and this one is absolutely beautiful. If you're a Guilty Gear Strive fan, I have no idea how you couldn't like this. Uh, if you're not a Guilty Gear Strive fan, again, I have no idea how you couldn't like this. Overall, this is amazing. Here's a cool Ninja Turtle stick. I like the green case, I like the green ball top, I like the artwork and the fact that they've got button labeling here. If you're in PlayStation or Xbox mode, it doesn't really matter, you'll know what buttons do what. And speaking of buttons, I like that they correspond with each Ninja Turtle. The fact that they have LEDs is an added bonus, and there's a nice little touch here, that green rubber gasket. I always like seeing Skullgirls fight sticks, and this one is no exception. So this Annie BNB is just beautiful on the top and the bottom, and it also has a glow on the inside. Overall, the artwork on this one is just beautiful. I don't know about you, but looking at this one is just relaxing. If you're a fan of Pokemon, here's one for you. The artwork is great. The wiring on this one is also very clean. The buttons tie in nicely and even the screws are color coordinated. And keeping on the theme of great artwork, this one here I think is hand drawn. I love the paper bag effect. Overall, it just it stands out. It's really cool. Bearwit has posted yet another awesome stick. If you're a fan of Mega Man, I don't see how you couldn't like this one. And how about that etching? Here's a nice, clean, and clever Razor Panthera. Speaking of clever, this Captain America stick has some pretty neat buttons. I like the bat top as well, but taking a look at these buttons here, the stars in the center make a lot of sense, and the pattern around the buttons make them like little tiny shields. I also like the fact that they switched up the bat top for this American flag ball top. It all works. I don't really see Cowboy Bebop themed sticks that often, so I wanted to make sure to include this one, and I think it's coming to Netflix as well. The show, not the, not the stick. So this one is neat. I like the artwork on it. I like the theme overall on it. And I really like the fact that the bat top here is coming out of the end of the gun. That's awesome. Another beautiful butter bomber. This one has amazing artwork. The front panel is engraved and the wiring on this one is insane. Look how clean that is. I love this beautiful bike and build. The artwork on this one is great and it was a good choice in metallic buttons and ball top to tie everything in. At first, I did not realize that this was a wooden stick. The craftsmanship is pretty amazing. And I like that they went with magnets here to hold the bottom plate on. And speaking of wooden, here's a custom button box. It has custom artwork as well. It's a slim profile. I like the handle. 
and take a look at the wiring. This is their second attempt at wiring, well, custom wiring anyway, and it turned out really well. And now we get into the top five fight sticks of the month. In fifth place here, we have this really neat split box. So this split box has two different pieces. On the left-hand side here are your movements, and on the right-hand side are your actions. And I'm also noticing a joystick, which is very interesting. If we take a look at the internals here, on the right-hand side of the split box is the Zero Pi board, and you can see a better look at that joystick. It's very impressive that they were able to fit everything in this small compartment. The left-hand side seems very empty in comparison. Overall, it's got a great design, great craftsmanship, and great end result. In fourth place, we have one fight stick to kind of rule them all. If you're looking for a fight stick to make as many people happy as possible, this might be the way to go. It's got almost every single control type on here. We have our joystick, we have a WASD via the Odin. We also have the hitbox style. The only thing we're really missing here are the hitbox cross-up style and the smashbox style. Other than that, this stick will have you covered. I like the gold and white colorway here. It's very clean and it looks pretty cool. It also looks huge, but it might be comfortable to use. In third place, this snack box definitely understood the assignment. A Halloween themed stick for a Halloween themed fight sticks of the month. I absolutely love this thing. The little pumpkin themed ball top here that's been painted on. Uh, the side supports with the little spider webs and i think it's also glow in the dark which is amazing interestingly enough this stick is a giveaway and by the time you're watching this video it's probably in the hands of its new owner now for second place this stick was actually posted last month but i didn't see it and if i would have seen it it would have had a huge chance at winning fight sticks of the month for september because it's amazing we've got a bunch of different control types in a very compact form so you have your joystick you have your wasd you also have the hitbox style of layout you also have the hitbox cross-up style of layout and it looks like it's pretty portable the ball top on this one detaches there's a spot on the front of the fight stick to hold the ball top when it's not in use and there's also a dummy button to take place of that ball top so the hole doesn't get in the way. The wiring on this is absolutely gorgeous, and one of the best features is that it actually glows. Here's another look at that wiring, and I am absolutely speechless. And if you're wondering, yes, the top panel also has LEDs. Overall, this is one amazing build. And now for the moment you've been waiting for, Fight Stick of the Month for October, and this one is a masterpiece. Now, since I dressed up as Bob Ross, I thought I'd choose a stick that delivered on great artwork and creativity, and this stick delivers on both. So what we have here is an all-button snack box V2 titled Octopus in the Sky. If you were to look at this from a distance, you wouldn't even see those buttons. They chose transparent buttons so they could use the inlays there to continue on with the artwork and it looks like the artwork has been drawn around the button layout. By zooming in on things here, you can see exactly what I'm talking about. The buttons act as like those little suction cups on the tentacles and they're spaced perfectly. And apparently Reddit Fight Sticks loves this one as well. It's one of the most upvoted posts in the last year. So congratulations to your Fight Stick of the Month for October of 2021. It's a masterpiece. Remember to check out Reddit Fight Sticks. It's an amazing community, a lot of great members, and you will enjoy yourself there. But anyways, that is all I've got for this video. Let me know your thoughts about Fight Sticks of the Month in the comments below. Which sticks were your favorite? And if I missed a stick, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. And until next time, from all of us here, I'd like to wish you a happy fight sticking. Take care, friends. Thank you.